Hi, this is Coach Cynthia from Action Coast South Jakarta. Right now we are videotaping this blog from the North Sea. This is just at the tip of Germany right before we have all the Scandinavian countries. Beautiful morning. Today I want to talk to you about the language that limits us and I want to start with the word but. Many of us don't even know but using the word but, just like I just did right now, it actually sometimes limits your potential. For instance, let me give you an example. I'd like to achieve more in life, but I can't because I have this and I have that. Naturally, what comes after the word but tends to be reasons or excuses that you give yourself and you make yourself believe. Watch what happens when you switch that to word and. I'd like to achieve more and in order to do that, I perhaps can try this and this. So instead of coming up with a reason, by the nature of the word that you choose, your brain selects to look at potential solutions. So when you use the word but, it comes with reasons. When you use the word and, your brain switches to find some kind of solution that you can possibly use in order to achieve what you want. So think about switching from the word but to and and watch what happens to, the, to, the, to your own resourcefulness. Another example I'd like to give you is when you want to give feedback to others. Your work, you did a great work in your job, but, and then you give the feedback. You did a great work with your job seems like just something, a phrase that you use to soften up what's the next hit, you know. So when people, when people listen to that constructive feedback, they don't see your sincerity in the first part of the sentence. You did a great work, but... Okay, so the, you did a great work, they don't, oh, okay, that was just something nice that she's trying to say, but here's the big thing, she's going to criticize me next. Okay, so people get a little defensive. And what, watch what happens when you use the word and. You did great work, and in order to make it better, even better, here's what you can do. So it seems like you're sincerely giving the, the, criti the, the, the praise up front, and you're augmenting, you are adding to their value, if they do this, 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 they can be even better. So there's nothing wrong with them to begin with. Yeah. So people tend to be more receptive to those kinds of, um, to those kinds of uh, feedback than by using the word but. So think about those tips for the word but this week. And we'll see you in the next video session. Coach Cynthia here signing off from the North Sea. Enjoy.